guys. I'm Lisa from the Chocolate Carousel. Welcome to live. Thanks for joining me today. As you can see, I just got back from spring break. I know, I know, I'm a little old for that. Well, I didn't go intentionally. I just went to Key West and found out it was spring break. So I got involved, why not, right? Went in Rome. We had a great time. And I brought you back something Key Lime inspired um, from Key West, but I also didn't want to lose the feel of St. Patrick's Day. So what we're doing today are these baked key lime donuts with a key lime green glaze and some St. Patrick's Day decorations on top. So this is a great green dessert, also brings back the flavors of Key West. Um, and they're baked, so they're much healthier than a fried donut. So check these out. Let me show you how easy they are to make. We're gonna start the recipe with one and a half cups of flour. And I'm just gonna put that into a bowl along with half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So those are your dry ingredients for these donuts. Super easy. Um, what's fun about baking donuts, you get to use these cute little donut pans. Um, you could get these in AC Moore, Michaels, or any um, baking supply store. These are great for making donuts in the oven. You don't have to fry them in oil. So I'm just gonna mix these dry ingredients together just to get them combined. And then I'm gonna get my wet ingredients into the mixing bowl. So for the wet ingredients, I'm using six ounces of sour cream. You can use um, Greek yogurt as well. So if you're not into sour cream or you want it more tangy, use Greek yogurt. I like the sour cream, I'm not into the tanginess of the Greek yogurt in these. You can use a little fat too if you want to. It's not gonna hurt anything. Okay, third a cup of oil. Just vegetable oil. Quarter cup of milk, whole milk. And one egg. Yep, got a little Jimmy Buffett going for you there. Okay, so mix up these wet ingredients, get them to combine. You wanna just get the chunkiness out of that yogurt or sour cream, whichever you use, just get it smooth. All right, so once we get that all nice and smooth and creamy, like that I'm gonna add my dry ingredients to that and I would just want to do that slowly so we don't have a mess so just get your um, mixer going really slowly on the first speed and then just add the dry ingredients this is gonna come up it's almost like a pancake batter type consistency it's definitely a batter it's not really a dough and it's not like a cake mix, it's not loose like that. It forms pretty thick. Okay, you can see it coming together there. I'm just gonna stop this for a second so I can scrape down the sides to make sure everything's in there and mixed together. I always like to do that at least once, get it all combined, and then just give it another swirl so we know it's all together. Okay, and that's it. So that's your donut batter. Oh no, that's not it. Ha ha, we forgot the special ingredient. Key lime. This would be just a plain donut, but I want it to be a key lime donut. So I'm gonna add to that two tablespoons of key lime juice. So here you could add whatever flavor. If you're not into key lime, you wanna flavor your donut with something else, you can use a different type of flavoring. But I wanted to bring you a little taste of Key West today. So we're going with the key lime. I just have that come through. There we go. Right away you can smell that key lime. It smells like a margarita, actually. I know it's early 
Well, it's after 12 now, right? So technically we're okay. All right. So I'm going into a pastry bag with this. And I use a jar. You can use a, a pitcher or a jar or a Tupperware, whatever you want, something to hold your pastry bag for you. Because you really need an extra hand to do this. So that's kind of your extra hand. And you're gonna put your batter down into the pastry bag. Just get it in there. This is gonna make you about a dozen donuts. Just to give me an idea. So if you need more than that, you can double this recipe and it'll still fit in this size mixer, no problem. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna prep my pans. So basically I have these two uh, donut pans. You wanna make sure they're nice and dry. If you washed them recently, just make sure they don't have any water droplets in there. And then you're gonna give them a spray with some pan grease. So something to so that your donuts don't stick. And you wanna do that generously. Make sure you get every one. You'll know if you don't, cause they won't come out. Okay. Now, I'm gonna pipe the donut in. So, I've got the batter here in my pastry bag. I need to make a little hole at the end. And I'm gonna come once around in each of these um, spots in the pan. So you're basically filling it about to the midpoint because they will rise a little bit. And make sure you come and meet up with the other side so that your donut forms a circle and it's not separated. Okay, so we bake the key lime juice right into this batter. So we're gonna get that nice key lime flavor in the donut itself. And we're gonna add some also to the icing. Okay, so gives you exactly 12, which is really nice. Give them a little tap so they settle, and then pop these in the oven. These do not take long to bake, 12 to 15 minutes at 350. So it's really fast. You saw how fast we put that together? This is a really quick, easy way to, to make a donut. All right, and who doesn't love a donut? So this is what they look like when they come out. I'm gonna pop these in. And so they get, they get nice and brown, and then nice and golden. They're light and fluffy. They're really good. These are delish. So let's make the icing for them. Uh, it's a really simple icing. I'm gonna come back over to the mixing bowl for it. It's basically, when you make a white icing for a cookie icing, something like that, it's confectioner sugar and water. I'm subbing out the water with key lime juice for this. So I have two cups of confectioner sugar. And I'm gonna add to that a quarter cup of key lime juice. And I might need a little more, but I'm gonna start with a quarter because you can always add some more, but you can't take it away. And you don't want it to be too thick that you can't dip your donut into it. So if it's very thick, I'll add a little bit more key lime juice to it. This can be dangerous, Russ. Stand back. Oh, perfection. I love when it doesn't spray. You know, I'm wearing all black, so it's important. If that pooped, it could have been really bad luck for me. All right, see, it'll start to come together. I feel like I might need a little bit more key lime juice in there because this looks like it's going to be thick. I'm going to go with another. I'm going to fill this up quarter cup, but I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time until I get the right consistency. This is definitely too thick. Too thick to dip. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay. I want this icing to be green. I'm going to add a little bit of green food gel to it. 
one drop will really do you. This food gel goes a long way. Get a drop in there. If you were doing a donut like this for a birthday party or another occasion, you could make the icing pink, purple, yellow, it doesn't matter. I just chose green. Thinking about St. Patrick's Day this week. This all ties in together because you got the, the margaritas for St. Patrick's Day, right? Green drink, green donuts, got a little bit of the Key West feel here. I love when things work out that way. Perfect. Perfect. And they taste good too, which is a nice little bonus. All right, so I've got my green icing. I'm gonna put that into a bowl, something I can dip into. You want the donuts to be completely cool before you uh, dip them in the icing. Otherwise, the icing is just going to get too thin and just run right off of them. The other thing, too, if you don't have one of these cute donut pans, you can do them in a mini bun pan. Um, I did some like that, too, so you can see. If, in case you don't have a donut pan, you can even do it in a muffin pan or a little cupcake tin. So any of those will work. But it's kind of fun with the donut. All right. So I'm using a little bit of green and white sprinkles for St. Patrick's Day garnish and also white uh, sweetened coconut. Real easy to dip them. Have a spoon nearby just in case you get into trouble. But basically, the side that you want to dip, decorate, you dip down into the icing. Dip and drip. My favorite thing to say, dip and drip. And then while the icing is still soft, you're just going to decorate with either the sprinkles, the coconut, whatever you like. You know, it's fun talking about Key West and all of that when it was the uh, blizzard Stella yesterday. <laughs> Makes you, warms you up, you know? Start forgetting about this. Spring is coming. One way or another, it's gonna get here. So there's a little coconut on that one. <clears throat> But really, right, you can't be in a bad mood when you're talking about key lime donuts and Margaritaville. Definitely cheers you up. Forget winter. All right, so that's how it goes. You can use any other toppings you like too. I mean, white chocolate chips would be good. Really, it's whatever you like. But I think these are fun and festive. Um, they really, they kind of look and feel like St. Patrick's Day, and then when you bite into it, you get that little blast of summer, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that's our key lime baked donut. Remember, these are baked, not fried, so you do save on some calories there, and they're a little better for you. Um, with the green key lime glaze and then St. Patrick's Day toppings. I hope you guys try these at home. Definitely post pictures if you do. I want to see what you guys are making at home. I always think that's pretty fun to see. Thanks for joining me today on live. Don't forget, this Saturday, the 18th, is Sweet Tooth Saturday at Chocolate Carousel from 4 to 6. All you can eat cake filling and frosting. I'm definitely going to have some of these out for you to try. So if you're curious what they're like, come by and try some on Sweet Tooth Saturday and just say hi. It's only $6, guys. Sign up on our website. It's the best deal in town. Um, also, on the 24th is our... Um, Cake decorating class, we're doing a basket cake for spring with beautiful buttercream flowers. So I hope you'll come join me. There's only a couple spots left for that class. It's almost full. So if you're interested in coming, sign up quickly. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on live. I'm not going on vacation again anytime soon. So we're gonna start talking Easter next week. So I'll see you next week. Have a great week, guys. Thanks again for coming.